Jodo, I'm here, Anita Cooper, doing my vlog for Kahawi Teo and I believe changer Jean Harper. Jean Harper is the director, owner, creator of the the beauty brand called Cheekbone Beauty and she is um, indigenous to Canada from the northwestern Ontario or Ojibwe or Nashnabwe. Um, I would just like to say thank you Jean for your empowering cordial, your your humility, the humbleness, the the respect that you give when you speak and I really adore the fact that you can get down to earth with people and down to earth in the sense that she was prepared, she had her cordial, her talk all written down. It was so, so beautiful. She wrote it herself and every little um, pause she did take it wasn't to um, think about what it, what she's gonna say no um, I think she was totally organized she was consistent she spent a thousand hours you know at, at, at the beginning building her product that's how much she believed in her own success she just wanted to see native people in front of the camera she wanted to share that with the native children that to be empowered by by adults to have trust back in adults to realize the potential in each and every one of us and to realize our own um, power and to take that back and to own it and for that i am so very grateful she has Jen Harper has instilled in me that very drive that I really wanted um, and I can't wait for our next belief changer on Sunday because each as each one goes by I feel a little bit more empowered I feel like I'm meant to be there I'm meant to be experiencing these experiences and and that the past wasn't all for nothing and I resonate a little bit about a little bit with this this um, le this life lesson that she shared about with the birds and and flock the birds in motion flying towards the thermal mapping they were thermal mapping the area because she lives in uh, northwestern Ontario surrounded by these big bodies of water and sometimes it's all snowed out and you know like Iceland at sometimes or Greenland at sometimes and I you know the birds flying in a V formation looking for that common goal seeking the light and living living like you know what nature intended um, that they were smart and thoughtful that they had um, done this from generations and generations these birds and they had these little cuffs on the edges of their um, fully spanned out wings and these little tufts or cuffs were channeling the wind so that they could um, speed themselves up and that they could actually get to the destination faster and yes that's what I'm so grateful for this learning and I am going to now apply these little thought things to my daily actions and my call to action from Jen Harper was to put more time in to make that effort and to be proud and that the past does not define us. Thank you.